All right, so let's talk about a new feature in RAS to use RDSH or VDI cloning with local storage. In version 18, we introduced the ability to do local storage in Hyper-V. To showcase that, here in my Hyper-V, outside the cluster, I have this particular template. So what we will do is we'll go to VDI, we'll go to template, and we will create a new template that will talk to this particular host. So here it's running straight to my Mac mini Hyper-V. It's going to be an RD session host template in this case. We'll power up the virtual machine and what we will do is deploy the RAS agents. Okay, a server reboot is pending. Let's monitor. Let's use the default options. And here is our new feature where we can use multi-provider template distribution, where you can click the available providers and to target the providers. So if you have multiple Hyper-V systems, we can just you know define them over here. You can do concurrent distribution as well, which can set several servers to have the image deployed. So let's say to myself, to myself in this case, where the files will be saved in terms of configuration. And now we add information about where the image will be stored. We can also define if we're going to do any optimizations. We have a specific video for that. License like we did previously in other versions of RAS. And finish. And we'll click on Apply for the process to begin deployment, which will take a few minutes to, to be done. And like we have in other ways to provision, now we're cloning. And if we go back, to Hyper-V, we see that we have the snapshot created, and now the cloning process called local 001 is now being cloned and getting ready for us to use. That allows us to go to publishing, and we can publish another VDI, if you will, add desktop, or it could be applications too virtual desktop or RD session host. We take RD session host in this case. We'll pick um, servers from this group or any assignment that we have, and then we can assign to the template. Or like we have done before, we can go to our list of servers and we can look auto provisioning for that particular template. So RD session hosts, we can go to groups. We have a default group but we can enable to this particular group to use a template like we have done before. Instead of using send, and now we're using local storage. So I'll call local storage, adding the template, and in a few minutes when the template is ready, we'll have a server assigned to this member. So that will take a few moments to, to be ready. So we'll wait and then see the host added to the pool and as well will be added to the group. And the rest of the process is pretty much the same. If you have additional questions, please go to parallels.com slash RAS.